What's going on guys, Victor here. And today, we got one of the craziest catch clean cooks you guys are probably ever gonna see on this channel. We got the crazy looking, spear-like, alien mantis shrimp. And these are honestly one of the, this is probably the coolest animal I have ever seen in my entire life in the ocean that exists. I still can't believe they're sitting on the fillet table. So I'm taking you guys mantis shrimping today. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh my gosh. So they live, you see all these little holes around here? They live in all these little holes and they'll wait for things to come up and they'll ambush them. You want to take a closer look? This is the first one we've ever caught before. Isn't it? There's a part that you can't touch. That is amazing. Yeah. Manta shrimp. Oh, manta. Manta shrimp. 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 Manta and I was really bummed because earlier I missed, I think, a mantis shrimp maybe three times this size. And I'm kind of just going around and there are all these little holes here. And so mantis shrimp, they'll bury in the ground and they're ambush predators. So their hole's probably just big enough for their body and they'll stick their little head out in their eyes and they wait for something to swim over it. And then you see these things right here, they, they, got, they almost look like saws, like little saws and they'll go out and they'll grab whatever swims over their hole and they'll bring it back in. And the only reason I even knew this shrimp was in there, the holes that I'm talking about are like that big. They're not, they're not very big. And I accidentally stuck my hand in one of them and it opened it up and it, it was like this big around. And I had a, no idea he was in there until I'd done that. So uh, I'm excited. I'm very, how about you babe? I'm excited. It's crazy. They look so cool. So now I know exactly what to look for, exactly what holes. This guy, actually, when I was going by his hole, um, his head was sticking out. He was really curious. This one was kind of hard because I was out deep and it's really hard to try to hold the bait in one hand in the hole and then spear him with the other, but we got ourselves another one. Now everywhere I walk and step, I'm so like cautious knowing that these things live underwater. That's how far you stuck the other one down? So this is a good hole? I think so. And then he came, and then I... You feel him trying to pull it under, then you pull him out. This is what we're doing. There's a little hole right here, and a ballyhoo, I'm sticking the ballyhoo almost all the way down the hole, and that's what I did with the one right before that. And you can kind of feel him down there trying to grab it and trying to pull them under and you really got to pull them out real slow to try to get them comfortable to come to their hole and then I have this little spear right here and I just speared him as soon as he came out but it doesn't look like anyone's home at this hole or he just doesn't want to eat got him, I think. Uh -huh. oh. yeah. yeah he was out he, he's a little guy don't they look crazy? 
There we go. This is the smallest one out of all of them, isn't it? That's the one you missed earlier. Yeah. Check that out. That This is the one that I missed earlier. His hole was about this big and he was just... The guys on the dock told me to come by because he was restructuring his hole. Well, our man of shrimp adventure is over and um, you guys just saw the footage. My GoPro angle was a little bit too low. Every single time the mana shrimp was a little bit above frame, which I got to work on next time. And I'll tell you what, I'm addicted to this. I'm definitely going back and I'm going to try to find some more spots, some cooler spots. If you guys have spots and want to make a video, go ahead, comment below, DM me or email me and let's make a video together. So you guys got to take a look at this. It's not often you get to see one up close and personal. I've only ever seen them on TV. And they're just so bizarre looking. If you were to just look at this, you'd probably think it's some type of lobster just based on the tail. And that's what most people eat is this tail. And they have a really big, strong, powerful tail. Like when I was, um, when I would stick that ballyhoo in the hole, I would really slowly have to try to bring it up because they're strong. Like you don't want to try to rip them out and scare them. It's like a little finesse game. You got to really slowly pull that bait up so that way they feel comfortable. And what they do is, so they dig those holes that you guys saw and their body's in there like this. Let me find this one because his uh, spears are intact. So all you see when you see him poking out of the hole is this little head and they have very good eyesight. I think they have like 16 photoreceptors, much more than humans do. And what they do is they have these little spears. They tuck them in like this and so they're sitting in their hole, and this is all you see. If you saw that in the hole, you would never know that they have this huge tail in there. You, you think it's like a little crab or a little shrimp, and they'll leap. They s supposedly have one of the fastest spears, fastest clubs. There's two types of mana shrimp. Club shrimp, which have like a, a knocker, like a little hammer at the end of them, and they can crack through crab shells, and then these spear-like things. So fish swims above his hole, he launches these super fast out like this and then they have these backwards facing spines these spears which by the way are super sharp i would not want to stick my hands barehanded i know that some people around the world catch these barehanded i don't know if i'm brave enough for that yet but they stick them out and then there's a fish here they slowly latch onto it bring it into them and then go back into their hole which that just goes to show you how freaking cool nature is. And just look at how disproportionate their body is to their head. They got this little head and this huge strong tail and I think that really helps them to bring things down into their hole. And in case a predator tries to come by too, they can probably really use the leverage of their tail. And they could probably stun things with their tail as well. Very crazy looking. Here, here are his or her legs and if they if they have eggs, uh, generally like regular spiny lobster, they'll carry them here. I'm assuming mana shrimp are probably the same way. I think these help the mana shrimp to swim as well and this to crawl along. So I have never cleaned a mana shrimp before, but I do know that the majority of the meat, just by looking at it, you can tell is in the tail. So what we're gonna do is take these little legs off. I just have a pair of kitchen scissors because I'm assuming those don't have much meat in them and then I know that they have like a lobster they have um, a digestive tract that runs along the center so we're gonna go up right up the middle of the tail Okay, pull the shell back. You can see his intestinal or his her intestinal tract right along the center here. This right here is what we want to get rid of. And it looks like it's gonna come right out. Yep. Just like that. I'm sure you probably don't want to eat that. So this is all the meat that we're gonna eat in there. Doesn't look like there's much, but I'm excited to try it. 
I'm assuming you want to take off. I don't see why you would leave them on. You don't want any of the little furry legs coming off in the pan. That looks good enough to eat. So, you guys, I'm really excited. Like, a little kid in a candy store excited to try it. So I'll see you guys in the kitchen. We're gonna do this bare bones. So I'll see you guys in the kitchen. We are about to whip these mana shrimp up. And before I move on, I just wanna say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. From Brooke's heart, I know that um, this is a very tough time and I want to express my gratitude for the fact that you guys took the time out of your day during this crazy time in the world to watch this video. I hope everyone stays safe. I hope everyone stays healthy. I hope your families stay healthy. And that's all I wanted to say. I know it's a really crazy time, so just keep your heads up. Since we've never tried mana shrimp, and you guys know I'm all about trying to make elaborate and crazy recipes and not trying to do boring recipes, but for something like this that I've never tried before, I really just want to taste the mana shrimp. So believe it or not, this is only one tablespoon of butter for three mana shrimp, so I don't think that's a lot. We're just gonna do some pepper. And this is the um, top half of the mana shrimp. I opened up the shell kind of like you would a lobster. So I have some black pepper. I'm going to put some salt in there. And that's it. And I did not take off the heads or claws. I'm just, we'll see if there's anything edible in there. We're going to come over here to our pan. Put them down this way. Okay. Okay, we're gonna flip them over just in case. Brooke had a good point. You don't know where these things have been. Um, in case there's any bacteria or anything bad on this side, we're gonna try to kill it. Take a look in there. Open it up with the tongs. I'm taking them off of the pan. They gotta be done by now. Very thin meat. Which one you want, Brooke? Um, not the biggest, you eat the biggest. Okay. Look at it. it. It's um, certainly different. It doesn't, Brooks, Brooks Brothers actually tried this before and he told us that if you try to take it out of the shell like a, a regular lobster, like lobster meat will get stuck to the shell so he said to cook it with the shell on. First bite with no, we also have a little bit of olive oil mixed with garlic right there. There's not a lot of meat on them. I did try it. I'm still trying to figure out. Interesting, very interesting. First of all, the, the meat, when you eat a lobster. The meat comes right out. It does, when you eat a, um, a lobster or shrimp, the meat kind of stays to the shell. This falls apart. It's mushy. Very mushy, like I can scrape all this and you guys see it falling off of the plate didn't use a lot of oil didn't use any sauce it falls right apart look at this it's very good it's, it's really much it's nothing like shrimp texture or lobster texture whatsoever nope do you taste that flavor of something yeah i don't know what it is it's not it's i like it i don't think brooke likes it but i like it is it the texture for you? No, it's the flavor. I say ditch the fork and use your fingers. It's much, much easier. I don't know what to think. I think it's delicious. I think it's really good. This is the type of thing, I think if you were on a deserted island and you just ate a mana shrimp over an open fire, you'd be living it up. It took me a really long time to actually enjoy eating lobster. And I feel like that's what this is. Like it would take me a long time to start enjoying yeah. it. I just had a thing where I didn't really like the taste of lobster. It has that iodine taste, like lobster it does. does, you know? It does not have a lot of meat, especially no. when you cook it. You guys see I'm done. I'm trying to think if I cooked it wrong, but I don't know how I could have. Every time I've seen anyone eat a mana shrimp, they do look mushy. Now we're going to go into the head and see if there's anything in here. Let's see if there's anything in this claw. We didn't even use this. No, we didn't. Okay, there's the, the uh, spear, the joint right there. Oh, there's meat in there. 
In the claw? Yeah, not in the claw, but in the joint right here. You guys see it kind of squishing out. So a lot of the meat just came out with your fork, but then a lot of it kind of sticks too. You gotta use your fingers. I'll tell you something. If you want to have a family dinner, you either need man strength like four times this size or you better come home with 30 because they do not have a lot of protein on them. They're just crazy. Look at that thing on your plate that you're eating. Probably not the best thing to take a girl on a first date to. Probably ow, not. Ow, ow. These okay. things are so hard. Plastic. Like you could use it as like a comb for your hair. Mm. If you were on a deserted island, you could not only eat it, but then you, you could also have a comb. A comb. Wow. <laughs> See, that, that's the type of things that Brooke thinks of when she sees a, a mana shrimp on her plate. All right, you guys go ahead and comment below if you've ever had mana shrimp. Is it supposed to be really mushy? But I thought it was fun to eat. We went out, we tried something new. My brother did it years ago. Couldn't remember where he went, and we just went for it. And we actually did it for, what, like five hours? Yeah. And then we finally found them in the, the last, spot. like, 30 minutes of doing it. So we definitely put our time in, but we, didn't. we got them. So it's cool that we went out there. We've been wanting to do this for a long time. We went out there and Years. we were successful. So thank you guys so much for watching. That's all the time I got for you today. As I said earlier, please stay safe, happy, healthy with your families. And I'll see you guys in that next video.